my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we're going to be talking about my aerospace dream job. Y'all always ask me questions about aerospace engineering and I did a video on why I chose to study aerospace a while back. So I thought today could be fun to talk about my dream job, where I hope to go, what I hope to do, um, grad school plans, things like that with my aerospace engineering bachelors. So let's go. So if y'all watched that video a few weeks ago, I mentioned how I am really interested in fluids and aerodynamics. I have always been fascinated by aviation um, and aeronautics and I've had a little interest in space, but definitely more aero than astro. Um, I am currently taking an aerodynamics class that is definitely not easy, but it's also really cool at the same time. I took an intro to aerodynamics class last year, and then I took a vehicle design and performance class last semester, which was really, really cool. Um, and we got to build the glider and analyze and do like a whole um, drag polar performance analysis, stuff like that, which I found really, really cool. Um, on the flip side, <laughs> Um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, if not self plug, you should follow me on Instagram. My link will be down below. You might know that I have gotten really into Formula One and I love it. F1 is so cool. If you don't watch F1, it is race car driving, um, but not just like, sorry, NASCAR. It's not just NASCAR driving where you're just driving in a circle. This is like super sick in the city on some racetracks all over the world, really, really cool race car driving. And my favorite part about it is all of the engineering and science that goes into it. It is absolutely insane. There is so much thought, so much science that goes into designing these cars, designing the tires, um, every single aspect of the car, the suits, the helmets, the tires, everything has been designed for a reason. And not only that, 19 of the 20 current teams are based in Europe, um, which is so cool with all of these crazy cool, um, not that like sponsors are everything, but it is pretty cool that there is enough money and demand within this field that I feel like I could hopefully get a job. Um, so, that is my dream job. I would love to go work as an aerodynamicist for an F1 team someday. And now, if you watch F1, I am a huge Red Bull and McLaren fan. I would never say no to getting a job offer from Mercedes and of course for internships and things like that next summer. I'm going to apply absolutely everywhere. But um, as far as like team support and watching um, drive to survive and watching watching weekend races goes. I'm a huge Red Bull McLaren fan um, Let's go Max is gonna win the championship this year. Hopefully, but um That is kind of what I want to do So going off of that if I am looking so far ahead into the future with wanting to go work for an F1 team Like I said a lot of them are based in Europe, so I am not quite sure if I would want to live there forever. I think that's definitely like a very big personal decision. Um, if I'm married at the time, who knows when I'll have kids, all that jazz, because the thing about these jobs that I've looked into is, of course, I want you to have your master's and it's preferred if you have your PhD. I currently am expected to graduate in 2023, which hopefully I pass everything when I'm supposed to. Um, and if so, and I go to get my PhD, that's like another six years normally-ish. If I don't do my master's first, let's just say that puts me at 2029, 20, which means I will be 28 years old. Uh, well, no, if I graduate in May, I'll be 27 years old, which means I'm already kind of old, which is crazy. So I'd be moving to Europe as a 27 year old with my PhD in aerodynamics and fluids, which would be hella cool. Um, but then do I wait until I'm like 35 to have a kid? 
I don't know. There's just a lot of like gray area in my timeline right now, but regardless of what ends up happening, my current plan is to go get my master's at least right after I graduate. Um, and I'm looking into fluids and aerodynamics programs within aerospace. So um, I know Michigan has a really good fluids program, um, possibly staying at CU. It just kind of depends on scholarships, money, funding, um, those sorts of things, as well as where I get in, um, just random stuff like that. And then I kind of just think I need to talk to more people think about it a little bit more because I've heard so many mixed things about getting your PhD at the same time as your master's, getting your master's and going in the industry for a few years and then coming back for your PhD, doing your master's and PhD in one shot. People regret that. Maybe don't do your undergrad, master's and PhD all at the same school because you need to build connections. I don't know. I think I just need to think about it a little bit more, but um there's that's my dream job we'll see what ends up happening with that um i think in a perfect scenario i would do that for a few years and then maybe after that i would love to go work on supersonics on like jets or something like that i think that is super super cool as well but i am really into f1 lately um and i've been thinking about this for like a year or more but um We'll we'll just see what happens with it. I would love to teach someday, but at the same time, a PhD is a lot of work. I've heard people say you will never regret getting your PhD, um, but that's a lot of school. I would love to be... I would love to find something I'm so fascinated about that I could dedicate, like, six years of my own research to, but as of right now, as much as I, like love F1 and cars. CU's aerospace program doesn't really do anything with that. I haven't really found like an aerospace program where I could do my research on cars. Um, so I'm thinking more looking into internships with, I don't know, Audi, Porsche, McLaren, or like F1 teams um, and racing teams working on aerodynamics because a lot of these more like luxury car brands um, and Tesla are putting more money into aerodynamics and things like that to improve efficiency and performance as opposed to just um, their car engines and things like that. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for for next year. If not, I will hopefully be storm chasing or something like that. We'll see. I feel like I have a lot up in the air, but don't we all? I have a lot to learn. I have a lot more classes to take before I graduate, which means I have a lot of time for things to change, my ideas and thoughts and opinions to kind of change, I guess. Um, gosh, it's kind of stressful thinking about, but it's also really exciting at the same time. There's just a lot of like personal decisions um, and so much of your personal life gets affected by your future plans. So I'm like, if I want to go travel for a year, I don't know when I could do that if I'm getting my PhD. Y'all understand, it's complicated. It never, it never seems like it's going to chill out. I talk to people all the time that are in their master's or PhD programs at my lab and at work and stuff like that. It is really fascinating to hear their plans, what they like about it, um, things like that. And... Sometimes I'm like, man, that does not seem like it's for me. And then I go look at all my dream jobs and I'm like, oh, I would probably need my PhD if I like want like a true shot at getting a job with McLaren Racing or something like that. But um, we'll see. I would like to think I have a shot, but you never know. Either way, I feel like I'm rambling. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I will see you all next time. Let me know what your dream job is down below, but... Have a great day. Peace out. Bye.